Hello and welcome! My name is Bishton and today we are playing Hearts of Iron 4. As the Soviet Union, we are at war now with the United States as well. I was really, really hoping we could maybe like invade Canada first. You know, prevent big issues from happening. But nope, Soviet, well, we're now at war against America. Uh, good news is, though, we are winning here. Uh, we're not so much winning here, but we are winning almost entirely down here. They've pretty much lost their frontage. Um, Japan... Yeah. I feel like Japan's having issues with manpower as well. Now what we kind of need... are... bomber... well, naval bombers. So we're gonna put you to the top. And we're just gonna produce a good few bombers. Because we'll need those bombers for the war against the United Kingdom and Japan's navies. And eventually America's navies as well. Because we don't have a navy that can really fight that well. We really just don't have a navy. No point in really getting that. I think we're done with industry, yeah. Um, let's start with our nuclear research. Take a year for that, and then another year for the actual nukes. And by that time, I'm sure we'll be fighting against the UK. Um, there's a lot of planes here, though. Sheesh. This is America's planes. Um, thankfully, though, um, any planes that will be against us will be against us in France, basically. And I'm willing to lose... Um, we'll actually have an advantage fighting in France because they'll have at least 30% of all their fighters just won't do anything. And if we look at my... We have 6,000 fighters. Eh. We have 2,000 in combat rolls right now. So we can easily take on that. Because I'm relatively certain if we go through here, yeah, we have 3,000 still in. Just sitting around doing nothing. And we're ahead of research on our fighters anyways, so... I think we're almost finished with... Oh good, streamline. That will help us significantly, especially with this. Now unfortunately, our naval bombers are gonna be pretty naff. Um, we could go ahead, get the next motorized. What's the... Better defense. Better everything, pretty much. Um, 
Um, you know what? What's the production difference? Uh, just one extra. I guess we can grab it. Wow, we actually have a surplus of medium tanks. All right, that's really good for us. Because we can go here and look for that one medium tank. This one. Which isn't even getting built. So that's fine. Um, these two are doing great. Thinking I'm gonna switch them um, all. Well, these at least over. I don't really want to switch these over. But I think we almost have to. Ooh. These are a lot better, though. Right. Yeah. The T60As are... So we'll be losing quite a few medium tanks for quite a while. However, hopefully we'll lose less in the overall scheme of things. Just because of the increased armor on them. And then they'll also have a better breakthrough chance and... So hopefully, survivability wise, they'll do better. Everything else, they'll probably do worse though. Producing 230 a week, though. Um, how... 31 more days? Yeah, we've got... Plenty of infantry equipment for that. Um, well, they've definitely ran out of medium tanks. Um, they may not have run out of... Ooh, they have heavy tanks now. That'll be interesting. I don't think it will matter too much. I mean, heavy tanks are... aren't the best thing. Hungry's capitulated. That helps us majorly. Because that takes out all of Hungary's forces. And it's just gonna leave mostly Germany and Italy. Uh, having issues here. I'm not seeing any American forces yet. Oh, jeez. These guys are having huge issues. Go Republican Spain. Slovakia's capitulated. Not surprised. Germany's probably trying to make a mad grab for that land. Um, we can actually just delete that. And just make a push. You know what, let's make one line, line push. It'll be rough, but I think they can do it. How's Japan doing? Japan's doing well. Okay. Um. Navy. Landing craft. Preparing for the inevitable need for them. France is breaking out again. That should help this. 
and even... No, wait, they still don't have it. Okay. I thought they finally took it. Um... Let's go ahead and do that. Because we'll need South Africa and all these small nations down here anyways. Oh, I can't wait till we can send all of these guys to the front. Because that'll just be so huge. Insufficient oil. Let's just do that. Uh, we only need three more. Fine, we'll... We'll get all of it. starting to fight the United Kingdom again. And look, we've got Poland back. Yay! The Polish people have been liberated. Also, why are we having issues with this? Because I think this was mine. Or was it? Actually, no, it might not have been because this isn't. Ah, uh, it's beautiful. I actually want to... Do that. And then that. Reduce the guys over here and hopefully try and cut them off. Um, they've got... Some more heavy tanks, but looks like their strength is low again. Or, nope, that's a medium tank. Thought I saw a heavy tank. Oh well. I thought I saw its strength was low, so. Hopefully we won't have another civil war. Because that wasn't fun. Oh hey, we're... We're apparently having issues. There are desert. Very low supplies. Western Balkans, low supplies. Western China, low supplies. Balkan states, naval invasion. Oh, hey. That's not cool. Oh, hey, what happened here? We can take that. And we'll just start moving troops over here because it looks like that seven's gonna attempt to fight us. Oh, good. Yep.
Yeah, we've mostly closed them off. Um, this won't be that big of an issue. Well, it'll get solved pretty soon. This, on the other hand, more of an issue. Because there's not a lot I can really do against it. Um, this is great. And this is a lot of military factories as well. Although, so is this. This is probably more military factories. As we push through to Berlin, which is right there. We're almost there. Oh, the United States are here. That's not great. Let's see what the United States actually has. Um, I can't tell. Great. Mediterranean seas. Eight hundred fighters, that's fine. Alright, we got the next fighter tech. Let's just go ahead and get the improved equipment. <sighs> this is so much oil, which is an issue. Let's consent. Well, continue fighting. This is pretty big. There goes five light tanks, two medium tanks, and ten infantry. Um, we've also mostly taken out this, and these guys are just trapped. Like, they can't do anything now. We'll win through slowly cutting off small forces. I mean, this is a fairly large force, to be completely honest, that we just killed. I would be very angry if I lost eight troops immediately. With the enemy basically losing nothing. Alright. I'm gonna go do this, and we're gonna push up. I am worried about America, but at the same time, I can't do much about them. Um, Spain's holding its own. Spain will honestly probably just be the one taking Africa. I'm probably not going to spend much time working on it. We're going to just take out this real quick. Okay. And yep, now they're dealing with a lot of attrition. And Berlin has fallen. Goodbye, Berlin. We honestly didn't much like you. Alright, let's 
improve that. We can go ahead, get more fighters, well, more naval bombers. And actually, yeah, let's, mm, there's quite a few fighters still here. So we'll put 200 here at least. Just to assist with this. Um, yeah, that should be fine. We'll be slightly outnumbered, but I don't know how few troops they can actually move in. I imagine they can't move in a lot because of where they are. Because I assume their airfield's probably in Denmark. So yeah, they probably can't get most. They're probably only getting 20%. Republican Spain wants to send 101 expeditionary divisions. I'm going to let Republican Spain deal with it. Because once I've defeated Germany I'm, because France is not a part of Germany so basically once we get to here we've won against Germany and Germany will capitulate and then we'll just clear out well then we'll clear out the rest of them very quickly and there goes that 20 some odd infantry. Oh, that must suck so hard. Alright. We're just dealing with a few small pockets of resistance now. That's the one I want. I'll send all of 24 there. No, nope, not you. You, you, no. You. No, you. Gosh, darn it. Base, mustache, you. There we go. They still have freaking cavalry. Goodness. I at least use cavalry only for the wonderful, wonderful little excess troops that I get from other nations. And we've almost defeated Turkey again. I'm surprised Turkey was such a pain to fight. Yeah, we're we're done with Japan pretty much. We'll see how Germany's doing. Germany's 57% of the way there. Italy zero. Vicky France is zero. Japan is also zero. Oh, Venezuela is here. Okay, that's going to be a pain in the butt because we won't be able to end the war for a very long time. B 
Hopefully America does a naval invasion on them. Because that's about the only way we'll be able to do it. Which, that just bites. Oh, we're still fighting here. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, you took Leningrad. That's not nice. Oh, there's their fleet. Republic in Spain is slowly losing, but hopefully we can, hopefully we can take enough high value things from Germany. Well, they'll, they'll capitulate before Republic in Spain capitulates. I think Republic in Spain's like 70% though, right? No, 90%. So yeah, they, Republic in Spain should be fine for a while. Um, okay, we're using tier one guns. Great. That's not great. Alright, we need a lot of guns. throw those two lines up. Hopefully we'll get... Ah, uh, well no, actually we can't because of Venezuela. Also, oh my goodness, I have way went over this episode. Oh, uh, I just realized that. But, I guess I'll have to end it here. Um, we've taken Japan. We've taken part of Germany now. And we're working on Africa. Um, hopefully Republican Spain will survive, and yeah, but if you've enjoyed this episode, please remember to like and comment down below, and as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.